Now, we are left with pie chart, and that will be quite a short um, discussion. So our next thing is um, bar chart, sorry, pie chart. Okay, so two is pie chart. Pie chart. So that's our next graphical um, graphic type we, we take a look at. Okay. Now, in our we create a pie chart using the function pi. Okay. So pi. Is this. So first of all, you need x, which is x here to a source. Is this a vector of a non-negative numerical quantity? So these are also the frequencies. The x is the frequency, and then label, and so forth. So it's quite simple. To do this, you must create a frequency table, and then after that, you create your pi. Okay. So let's say create a frequency table. And let me let me do the same thing for the car types, right? Okay. So I'm just going to do this again, but of course you have it already. Car type, right? So I have car type already. So I can say pi. Okay. This has a bar. This has in the bar chart. So you create a frequency table just as you have in, in the bar chart, in the bar chart, and use function pi. So that's that's the basic thing. Okay. So I can say pi car type, and then you know I I I, I get this. Okay. So if I want to add a title. I can say main is equal to what? Maybe a simple pie chart. Something like that. Simple pie chart. And if I do this, I'll have my pie chart nicely laid. Okay. Now one more thing. It just this is just an addition. In some cases, you want to get a frequency. In percentages, so because this is, these are just mid size, large, and don't know. All we can say is that let's say in this case, small and mid size, it's difficult to know them. If I give you just the pie chart, but if I put the percentages or the frequencies around it, it becomes easier. Okay, so I'm going to say we want to convert the frequencies into pi into percentages, and then we'll show the percentages. Alongside, let's say mid size, and then we put a percentage over the large, we put a percentage over the compact, we put a percentage over this. So that's what we want to do. Okay, so my comment here will be that um, is to convert, convert the frequencies, the frequencies to percentages, to percentages. Okay, now to do that, what do I do? I will say, let me give it a name called, let's say, pairs. And pairs mean, okay, so I'm going to say round. Round means I want to round it. And by default, the digit is zero. So that my percentages will be what? It will be um, whole numbers. And not, um, but you can leave it. Maybe you can round it to two decimal places and so forth. But in this case, I just want one decimal. Uh, sorry, no decimal place. So I'll, I'll talk about car type. I'll call my car type, and then I divide by the total number of car types. So that I'll say, because this is frequency, I'm, I'm actually dividing by the total frequency. And I can multiply all these by 100 or, or round them and multiply by 100, whichever way you want to do it. I can make it outside, and, and that, that should work. Okay. So look at this. Oh, sorry. Um, okay. 
Um, wait, 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 wait. Okay, so I must multiply this by 100. Okay, so it, it has to be inside. The reason is simple. You see, because I'm dividing all car type by the sum and I'm rounding it, it's going to round them to zero. So that's that's what I got. But my 100 should be inside and then I'll be able to round them to whole numbers. Okay, now this is it. There we go. Okay, all right. So that's, that's our percentages, okay? So now I have a percentage. Now, the next thing I want to do is that I want to create labels. These labels will be mid size, large, and so forth, but I want it to come with the percentage, right? Okay, so I will say create label. Of names or labels of types of cars, type of cars with percentage of the frequencies of the frequencies in brackets. Bracket. So this is what I want to do. Now, to do that, so I'll, I'll say my label dot cars. Okay, I'm going to use a function called paste. Paste is an important function, and you see, you can paste something, you can get a separator. So those are the two things I'm going to do. Okay. So I'll paste first of all the names, okay, which is um, names of car types, right? So I say names of car type, okay? If I run only this, okay, so it's it's just what the names of the car types, okay? But I want the names of the car park to be, uh, after the name is written, there should be the frequency in quotation marks, right? Okay. So I put a comma, the frequencies in brackets, okay? And then I leave space so that there will be a space between the name and the bracket. Okay. So the bracket is a character. That's why I've put it in a quotation mark. Then comma. Then after that, I want to write the percentage, right? Okay. And then I put a comma. And then now I need a bracket to close it. And of course, before the bracket, I want the percent sign to show. So I'll put this there. Now, then remember the separator in this. So the separator. I just want an empty space, so like that, okay? So let me run this for you to see before we even, so this is what you we want to do. And look at it. You see, you have compact, 17%, large, 12%, and so forth. This is what I want to, so our next, part that we are going to construct, we'll have all these labels and then we'll have all the percentage assigned to them as well. Okay, so now let's go back and pick our part chart. The, the, the code we use to get our part chart, but now we are going to give it a label, right? And our label is equal to what? Label cast. Oh, sorry, I haven't run this, okay. I just showed it on the on the console there. So this is what I mean. So we can be more interactive with our, okay? We can be more interactive. Lastly, on, uh, um, on the um, pie chart, 
I want us to get some more elegant pie chart. So additionally, you can get, let, let me, okay, so let's say 3D. So if you want three dimensional pie chart, pie chart, you can get so three dimensional pie charts through the package plot trees. Plot trees. So you need to install, what do you need? Install package plot trees. Okay, now, so for me, I have done so already. So I will just look for plot trees and plot trees should be in my user library, right? Because it's, um, there we have it. So I will take plot trees, okay? So if you have plot trees, there is an argument, or oh, sorry, a function called pi3d. Pi3d, there we have it. So pi3d, okay. So I can do the same thing. Um, X is equal to cars, okay. So I can call my car type, okay. And then I can call my labels. As that okay um, yeah so this is enough to get us our 3d okay so there it is okay but two things they 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 um, they, they are together you know I can explore them so that you take each of them out and then also I can even reduce the 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 way um, the font size of the of the labels because they are too um, huge so I'm going to do do those two things I'm going to explore them so that each of these um, um, sectors so mid size is taken away small is taken away and so forth so th this is just additional stuff that you can explore around now to do that I need explode now explode should be a value you know between zero and one now the smaller it is you know the 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 explosion will be small in other words the distance between them will be smaller so let's look at point one we'll use point one and use point two point three so that you notice the difference between them okay so this is what i mean by explode you see it's getting out of each each of them is getting out let's change it to point three and see it's even getting out of Okay, so that's explode. Now, if I want to reduce this mid size, okay, there's an argument called label six. Label six. Okay. So by default, label six is one. In others, for example, in pi, you would have used just six. But here, this is a package. They say you should use label six. So you use that. So any value less than one means the font size will decrease. So I can choose point six and see what happens. Have you seen? That is too small. So maybe I can do point eight. And there, that seems a bit okay. Or maybe you do point nine. So it's up to you to explore. Okay, explore. So this brings us to the end of our discussion on the um, plot for categorical or qualitative variable. Okay, then our next video will be on quantitative variables and that will be loaded soon. So thank you for your time.